Hi, I'm Kit Hazelton from Panther Run Saddlery. If we're working together to find a saddle for you and your horse, one of the first things I'm going to ask you for is a template of your horse's back. It's going to help me determine your horse's fitting needs and decide which saddles are going to be most likely to work for you. You're going to use this little thing right here. It'll take you 10 minutes, really easy, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. To take the template, you'll need a few simple tools. First, you need a large sheet of paper. In this case, I've used a file folder. You can also use a cut open paper bag or the back of a sheet of gift wrap. Just make sure that it's marked down one side and across the bottom with some form of measurement. Mark it left and right and make sure you have your name, the date, and your horse's name written on the tracing. The first tool you'll need is a flexible curve also called an artist curve or drafting curve. You can get this at Staples or Office Max or your local art supply store. You'll also need a permanent marker and you'll need a roll of painter's tape or a piece of chalk in a color that contrasts with your horse's coat. With your horse standing squarely, the first mark you're going to make is at the rear edge of the scapula. You should be able to find it by palpating if you have a hard time finding the rear edge of the scapula, you can have your assistant take a hold of your horse's foreleg and pull it forward. That will make the scapula rotate back. And then as the foot goes down and the horse is standing squarely again, you can follow the rear edge of the scapula as it rotates. And that's where you make your first mark. The next measurement you're going to take is three fingers back from the rear edge of the scapula. You're going to make a chalk mark there, and then you're going to take your flexible curve, and with the center of the curve directly over your horse's spine, you're going to mold the curve to your horse's body, making sure that the leg of the curve is pointing straight down to the ground. You want to make sure it's not angled forward or angled back. Then you have your assistant hold the leg of the curve, and you go to the other side of the horse and repeat the procedure three fingers back from the rear edge of the scapula with the leg of the flexible curve pointing straight down. And when you've done that, you lift it off very carefully with the left side in your left hand and the right side in your right hand, and you're ready to transfer this to the paper. Now that you've taken your first measurement, you want to place it on the paper with the left hand side on the left side of the paper, right hand side on the right side of the paper. You're going to take your marker and you're going to trace the inside of the curve where it was against your horse's back. You're going to mark that number one. That's going to tell me the width of the tree and also the type of tree you need, standard or hoop. To take the second tracing, you have to find the lowest point in your horse's back. To do that, you can take your chalk, or you can take a pen, or a tube of lip balm, and just allow it to roll along the spine to the lowest point, and it will stop there, and that's where you're going to take your second measurement. To take your second measurement, now that you've determined the lowest spot in your horse's back, you basically repeat the same thing that you did taking your first measurement. You put the center of the curve over the center of your horse's spine, and with the leg hanging straight down, you form it to your horse's back. Then you have your assistant hold this leg of the curve while you go to the other side and repeat the process. Left side in the left hand, right side in the right hand, remove it from your horse's back, and there's your second measurement. Now that you've taken your second measurement of the lowest point in your horse's back, you're going to place the curve on the paper, again, left side on left, right on right, above your first marking and then you're going to trace the inside of the curve again where it was against your horse's back and you're going to mark that number two. The third tracing you're going to take is your horse's top line. To do this you're going to take your flexible curve, place it directly in the center of the horse's spine and you're going to form it to the shape of your horse's top line you're going to note where you took your first tracing, which is at three. You're going to note where you took your second, which is the lowest point in your horse's back. That's at 13 and a half. 
The third thing you have to find is the horse's 18th thoracic vertebra, T18. That's the last bit of weight-bearing surface in your horse's back, and you don't want your saddle to extend past that. To find T18, you just take your fist and you sock it in in front of the hip bone, slide it forward, and it'll stop at T18, at the last rib. You follow the last rib up, it's going to angle toward the horse's head, and make your mark. T18's right here. So your marks are at 3, 13, and 19 and a half. Then you take your curve off, place it on the paper, and trace it. Now that you have your third measurement taken, you place it on the paper, and again, you trace the underside where it was against the horse's back. You're going to mark the spots where you took your first tracing, the spot where you took your second tracing, and you're going to show me the location of T18. And there you have your complete template.